on today's episode we're doing a compression test uh, when I bought this unit it was uh, not running or it was running but the clutch was shot so I never did get to drive it you know so eight months nine months into the build here I finally get the, the motor uh, running the clutch in the body on all that able to drive it and then now in the last month or so wheeling it I'm realizing it needs more horsepower or gearing change or something like that so talking to Myron at Zooks Off-Road he's strongly suggesting uh, a turbo rather than gearing just because the nature of this motor at 67 horsepower um, the bigger tires and whatnot just doesn't have it and gearing is gonna help a little bit but you know probably not where I want it to be so he says um, for his turbo kits he recommends 150 psi per cylinder at the minimum so he's told me uh, how he wants the compression test done and everything like that and then I'll get back to him and possibly we will be ordering a turbo tomorrow on my birthday <laughs> happy birthday to this guy so anyhow what you need for this uh, compression test is really nothing more than a compression tester and your uh, spark plug wrench that's a 1316 spark plug wrench and uh, uh, so basically we we took her out for a little snow wheeling to warm it up and brought it in here letting it cool down just a little bit you know just so you can work on it not burn your hands I uh, I pinched off the fuel line let it run till it ran out of fuel because you're going to be turning it over with the throttle wide open and uh, it's going to be spewing gas in there and loading the cylinders up and, and uh, I've always just pinched the fuel line or, or if you can shut it off somehow you shut it off run it out of fuel the uh, the way he recommends to do the compression test is to warm it up to operating temperature let it cool down so that you can work on it without burning your hands but still is warm and then you take all the spark plugs out and you put your compression tester in one of them you hold the throttle wide open and you turn it over till the compression tester doesn't build any more pressure and then that's your pressure that's your compression for the first cylinder whichever you do then you do all four of them and see where she's at hopefully it's dead even at 170 or something like that would be awesome so let's get to it and see how this little unit uh, fares out okay so let's get the spark plugs off spark plug wires off I mean Take your compression tester and you just screw this end into the cylinder. Okay, hold her full throttle and then turn it over. That's how you do the proper compression test on your Suzuki Samurai. If you're looking at getting a turbo or you just want to see what you shake your motors in. That one's not bad, but it's not great. So anyhow, until next time, thanks for watching Suzuki Evolution. Please subscribe, share some of these videos, and we'll see you next time.